A bitmap is the simplest way to represent image data. In a bitmap, the image is divided into small squares called pixels. This very simple image of what might be a cat consists of 256 pixels, 16 across and 16 down, and each pixel is either black or white. We can store this information using binary digits by representing a black pixel with a 1 and a white pixel with a 0. With 256 pixels in this image, and each pixel requiring one bit of storage, this image takes up 256 bits of memory. Since a byte is 8 bits, that's 32 bytes of memory in total. This was pretty much all a very early computer could manage. One bit per pixel meant monochrome images. Not only that, but the pixels were rather large, which meant poor quality images. If you make the pixels smaller, you can fit more of them on the screen. This means you have a higher density of pixels. The number of pixels per square inch is a measure of the pixel density. Pixel density is commonly referred to as resolution, and it's usually given in dots per inch, DPI. The higher the resolution, the better the quality of the image. This image is 100 pixels across and 100 pixels down. This means there are 100 times 100 pixels, 10,000 in total. Because this is a monochrome image, just one colour, each pixel requires only one bit of memory. So this image takes up 10,000 bits of memory. With 8 bits in a byte, that's 1,250 bytes. And with 1,024 bytes in a kilobyte, that's about 1.22 kilobytes of memory. To display an image in colour, more than one bit is needed to describe the colour of each pixel. This image is using 8 bits to describe the colour of each pixel. Since 2 to the power 8 is 256, there are 256 possible values for any given pixel. In other words, each pixel can be one of 256 different colours. The size of this image is also 100 pixels by 100 pixels, so there are 10,000 pixels altogether. With each individual pixel taking up 8 bits of memory, this image requires 80,000 bits of memory altogether. That's 10,000 bytes, which is also 9.77 kilobytes, considerably more than the monochrome image. This image clearly has a higher resolution, and more bits have been used to describe the colour of each pixel. The size of this image is 960 by 640 pixels, and 24 bits have been used to encode the colour of each pixel. With 24 bits, there are 2 to the power 24 possible colours. That's over 16.7 million colours. Can you work out how much memory this image needs? Pause the video now to give it a go, and I'll show you the solution in a moment. You'll probably need a calculator. So, there are 960 times 640 pixels altogether. That's 614,400 pixels. Each individual pixel requires 24 bits of memory. Or, to put it another way, each pixel requires 3 bytes. So, the whole image requires 1,843,200 bytes of memory. That's 1,800 kilobytes, or 1.76 megabytes. This is much more typical of an image these days. To summarise, the quality of a raw bitmap image depends on two things. Firstly, the resolution, that's the pixel density. The higher the resolution, the better it's going to look. And secondly, the colour depth, that is, the number of bits that have been used to encode the colour of each pixel. Very early computers used 1 or 8-bit colour. The images didn't look good at all by today's standards. Later came 16-bit colour, which was known as high colour, and more recently 24-bit colour.
These days, most images use 24 bits to describe the colour of each pixel. 16.7 million different colours really is plenty. An average pair of human eyes can't distinguish between more than about 10 million different colours. When it comes to so-called 32-bit colour, in fact only 24 of the 32 bits are used for colour. The other 8 bits are used to control the transparency of the image. Of course, the better the quality of an image, the more of the computer's memory it will need. When an image is generated in the first place, for example by a digital camera, a rectangular array of pixels is created. Some extra information is also added to the file. This includes the number of pixels in each row, the number of rows altogether, and the colour depth. In addition to this essential information, other details like the shutter speed and the focal depth that were used by the camera to take the picture, or even details about the make and model of the camera, may be included. Image processing software such as Photoshop or Fireworks might also add extra data to the image file, such as captions or titles. All of this is data about the image data. Data about data is called metadata. It means that when you save an image file, it'll be slightly bigger than you can calculate based on the number of pixels and the colour depth. 